Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So this is the sixth part of API testing series and today we are going to talk about different types of HTTP status codes. And this is an important interview question as well. So interviewer might ask you at the time of interview that what is a particular status code and what does it means. They might also ask you what are the different categorization of different HTTP status codes. So we are going to talk about them in detail. So let's uh, talk about first what is the agenda for today. So we are going to talk about what is the status code, what are the different categorization or different series of status codes and at last I will show you demo through Postman tool some important status codes, how we are getting those uh, status codes and I will show you a couple of websites as well which is very very important to understand different status codes. And I have prepared an excel sheet as well where I mentioned all kind of different status codes and what is the description and what is the meaning of those status codes. So let's get started with the first topic what is status code. So we have seen in the previous videos uh, how we are sending the request from client. So whenever we send the request from client we are getting some response. So the first and important uh, thing which we verify is response code. So whenever we send the uh, request from client using different HTTP methods like gate, post, put, delete, we are getting some response code. So those response code is nothing but the status codes or you can say the HTTP status code. So we are getting different whether it's success or failure we are getting some response codes. So we are getting in different uh, series like we are getting 100, 200 series, 300 series, 400 series and 500 series. So irrespective of whether we are getting the success message or uh, failure message, we are re receiving those response codes. So those are nothing but the status codes. And we have different uh, meanings of those uh, response codes like 100 is for uh, uh, continue and we have 200 is for success message, 300 is for redirectional, 400 and these two are related to the error. So 400 is for the client side error and 500 is for the server side error. If you talk about the definition, so status and error codes refer to code number in the response header that indicates the general classification of the response. And this is the uh, important like response code which we verify uh, when we do API testing which is the first thing like how we categorize right whether it is a success or failure. So based on the response codes only we verify whether we are getting the correct response or not. And HTTP response status codes indicate whether a specific HTTP request has been successfully completed or not. What are the different categorization or different series of status codes? So there are, as we discussed, we have different series like 100 series, which is nothing but the informational series. Request received continuing the process. So process is still continuing and uh, this talks about the some informational uh, responses, right? So that is nothing but the 100 series. If you talk about the 200 series that is nothing but the success message. So the action was successfully received, understood and accepted. If you talk about the 300 series so that is nothing but the redirection. It is redirected to some other uh, uh, URL or some other actions. Further action must be taken in order to complete the request. So that is redirection. It is not a success message or failure. Uh, irrespective of that it redirected, uh, redirected to some other actions. Client error 400 series is nothing but the client error. The request contains bad syntax or cannot be fulfilled. That is client side error or client uh, response codes which we are receiving right 400 series. And 500 series talks about the server side error. If we have server is down uh, or any problem is there at the server end. Whether I mean we are sending the correct uh, request from our end from the client end but we are uh, we are not receiving the correct response from the server because of some problems at the server end those are nothing but the server error so these are the different types of status codes we have so guys this is an excel sheet which i have created mentioning all the different kind of status codes different http status codes with respect to what are the different series we have like 100 series 200 series, 300 series, 400 series and 500 series. And here I have mentioned all the status codes belongs to particular series and what is the meaning of it and what is the description and I have given some examples as well like if we talk about 200 series here I have given the couple of examples 
so all these status codes are not important uh, only some of the status codes are important only thing is you need to remember what are the like what is the different categorization of different status codes like 100 is for information 200 is for success 300 is for the redirection purpose 400 is for the client errors and 500 is for the server side error and some of the status codes which are important i have highlighted in uh, orange color so let's talk about one of uh, like one by one all of them so if you talk about 100 series so what does it means so it means continue and initial request has been received by the server and it's in continuing uh, it's continuing it's in progress so that is nothing but the continue whenever we receive the 100 status codes if you talk about 200 series so these are the couple of uh, response codes which are important like HTTP status codes which are important like 200 series uh, 200 which the, which the meaning of 200 is OK the 200 OK status code means that the request was successful so we have seen in the last video as well let me take you to postman so these are the different requests which we have created as part of this collection and let me just request uh, let's let me just send the request for one of the status codes and using different HTTP methods which we have created all these uh, status codes like gate, post, put, patch, delete. So let me send one of the request. So here we are getting the response like 200. So that means it's successful. We are getting the success response, right? So this is nothing but the 200. If you talk about 200, 201, so new resource has been, whenever the new resource has been created, so we are getting the response as 201. So if you talk about this post method, post, post HTTP method, so we are sending some new information to the server. And when we click on send, so there is response. The response which we are getting is 201. So the new resource has been created on the server is nothing but 201 response status code. Similarly, we have different other uh, status codes we have as part of 200 which is nothing but the success response so these are all success related messages like 202 203 204 5 6 7 8 and 26 so these are the different status codes we have as part of 200 series if we talk about 300 series so redirection messages we have as part of 300 series which are not very much important but uh, what happens here is uh, it it is redirected to some other uh, resource or you can say different urls so we have different uh, status codes as well as part of redirection message like 300, 301, 302, 303. So you can just go through uh, what are the different status codes we have. But as part of API testing, these are not very much important like uh, redirection messages. If we talk about 400 series, which are very, very important uh, whenever we get some errors, so what kind of response we are getting? So that is important, right? So if you talk about 400 so that is nothing but the bad request the 400 bad request is status code means that the server could not understand the request because of it because of invalid syntax so here i have given the example so whenever we send the request and there is some invalid syntax in the request so we are getting 400 status code so let me explain this with the help of an example so what i'll do i'll create a new request over here add request and simply i'll rename this status code uh, http code so the status code demo i'll put the url over here and let me just click on send so we'll be getting four no, uh, 400 right bad request that means bad request so what it says what it says uh, some problem with the request right so what we do let's read the response so here we have uh, it is mentioned clearly like query is a required parameter so we have to provide the query parameter with this request so what i'll do i'll simply write query query parameter so here you can see as soon as i have written like query parameter so using this uh uh question mark we can write this query parameter and here you can see it is coming inside these params right parameters so query has been added if you give some value so we can give value like is equal to 2 so here you can see the value is coming now let me just request it so this time we should not get phone 400 error 
so still sending the request what is taking time let me just cancel it yeah now you can see we are getting two 200 messages so that means it is success message so this is about uh, 400 bad request unauthorized access so 401 authorized uh, unauthorized status code means that the request has not been applied because the server requires user authentication so we have to provide user authentication username user id and password for this request this kind of whenever we uh, server requires uh, user authentication so if we don't provide that then we are getting 401 if you talk about 402 that is related to payment required uh, related message and if you talk about 403 so forbidden so 403 forbidden status code means that the client request has been rejected because the client does not have the rights to access the content so whether we provide the user id and uh, password but if it does not have access then we we cannot access the resources right so in that case we are getting 403 so that is the difference between uh, 401 and 403 so 401 if you are uh, uh, if it requires user authentication so that if you don't provide that then we are getting 401 and if it is not given uh, the access then we are getting 403 so here i have given the examples as well so let me copy this I'll put it over here and simply I'll send request. So here we are getting 403 forbidden message, right? So this is for 403, 404. So this is an important one which usually we get when we uh, try to access any resource which is not available on the server. So let me put here. If you send it, so we are getting 404 not found. So this resource is not found on the server to do as to do uh, this one is not found so if you remove one maybe it will give the, me the success message so here you can see success message so if you type like something one two three so this resource is not available on the server so it will give us or not for not found so because it is not available on the server so it gives uh, for not for not found if you talk about uh, and there are some other uh, status codes as well as part of as part of uh, 400 series and if you talk about 500 series so we have different uh, status codes as well which are important like 500 which is internal server error here i have given an example as well so let me just request this so here we are getting 500 internal server error similarly we have bad gateway uh, bad gateway response codes means that the server received an invalid response while working as a gateway to handle the response so whenever we have some bad gateways uh, in that case we are getting this 502 response codes service un unavailable so if server is down or it's uh, uh, like it's under maintenance so we are getting service unavailable message that is nothing but 503 response code so these are the different uh, other codes which we have as part of 500 series and guys uh, these are the couple of websites which are very important i'll provide the link in the description box of this video and uh, here they have given all all kind of different response codes which we are receiving so if you put those uh, response code here let me just copy this one and if you put here suppose you want to uh, know the information about uh, let's say 203 so just after slash https colon slash slash http dot cat slash 203 and send it so we are getting this message non authorized uh, authoritative information right and if you give another like let's say 301 We will be getting image like this 301 moved permanently correct so these are the uh, to remember just play around it uh, what are the different status codes we have however we are getting the response like 200 only but uh, this is just like image file which we are receiving from the server just to remember or play around with different status codes
similarly we have this mock dot codes uh, website as well uh, which which is beautifully uh, given all the status codes here let me just talk about any of them let me just open this one so if i request using this one let's see what happens So here you can see no content, right? Two not four. If you request like this, two not three. We are getting non-authoritative information. Five hundred. We should get internal server error. So here we are getting the message as well. So these are the couple of websites which are uh, which you can play around and understand different status codes. So this is all for today. I'll provide the links in the description box of this video uh, about these two websites. And let me know if still if you have any questions in the comment section of this video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye bye.